Hi everyone and welcome to Club 3 episode 16 of Rolling in the Isles, an FM20 British Isles Journeyman series with me, the United City FM. Great to have you with me. Welcome along. So since the last time you and I were together in an episode where we played Wigan and we won comfortably 4-1, we've done okay pretty much. We played Portsmouth, West Brom and Reading, won two of those games, lost against West Brom, which is a bit disappointing, quite a high scoring game. And just before that, we'd found ourselves properly in second place, having jumped over Huddersfield, but um, losing the West Brom match put us back down again into third spot, which is still brilliant, but it was just a little bit disappointing on the timing of that, really, just as we'd managed to get into that second place spot. But we sit on 53 points, one behind Huddersfield, which is really great, and a little bit of a gap just a beginning to appear between us and a couple of the other teams. So that's really positive as well, which is fabulous to see. Um, today we've got Swansea, the last game of the calendar year, 28th of December in 2025. You can see that Swansea sit down in 10th place, so mid-table side. Um, so a, a decent opportunity again to get some points, hopefully. Um, there's, there's nothing really significant to tell you about in terms of the personnel. We've still got McNair coming back from his big, big knock, but... He's been out for months and months, hasn't he? But he's almost back, which will just give us another option to put on the bench. But I'm not sure he'll last much longer at the club. I, I do think he'll move on because um, at the age that he is and with the attributes that he's got, and you can see they're dipping a little bit, having been injured for so long, I think he's going to struggle to get back into this side. Um, ben Stretton, also one of our central midfielders, is out for the next week. Just, you know, that's just what happens occasionally. Um, so he's rehabilitating from his issue currently. So he's out of re the reckoning today. Other than that, everybody's fit. Everybody's had a little bit of game time recently. I'd like to get some of these... Um, uh, what we my match sharpness, sorry, my mind went blank for a second. Some of the match sharpness up for some of these guys. But the problem is, is that in the championship, if you look around the, the, the teams that are in the championship, there's just no easy games. There's no easy game to put them in and think that's a dead set that these guys are going to be able to perform well and still win the matches everybody's really tough and there's some big teams in this division so it's always tricky to know how to rotate the side and, and stuff and you could rest them here and there and that's fine for the first 11 but it's not for the team uh, the people that are below them in the pecking order they're just not quite getting that mar uh, match sharpness from the game time so something we have to um, think about in, in this run of games probably in January I'm going to have to put some of these guys in just to give them a run around here and there anyway if we can get a bit of a gap between us and outside the playoffs, then that would help us immensely in that respect because all I care about really is finishing as high up, obviously, but the playoffs is what I expect us to do this season. So, yeah, that's something to think about in the next month or so. Tell me how you deal with that in the comments below with your sort of 20, 25-man squad. How do you keep everybody um, match sharpness? So it's okay to rest uh, the players that have played. That's fine. But how do you play the others when there's so many big games around and you can't afford to drop the points. Anyway, let me know about that in the comments below. Today, as I say, is Swansea. They're sitting in 10th. We're sitting in 3rd. Things are going pretty well for us. Everybody mostly is fit and healthy other than the couple that I've already expressed. And so we've got Bazunu in goal, Colin at right back, Target at left back, Harwood, Bellis and Storey in central defence with Joku, Roberto and Sibley in central midfield, McCowan on the right, Lokudoku on the left and Ida up top with a bench of Burns, Cooper, May, Crowley, Murphy, Murray and Clark. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. I just decided to leave the team talk blank today and not put any pressure on them, but just give them the freedom to go out and play and try and keep the good run of form uh, that we've been having recently, keep it going. Um, and Swansea are going to be a tough opponent, of course they are, but we're in good form. We have got some very good players. I'm very happy with how it's been going recently. A couple of comments on the last video that it looked like we were watching Brazil in the first half against Wigan, which I'll go with. Thank you very much for that. Um, more like more of the same like that would be fabulous today. So let's see how we cope with whatever challenges that Swansea put in front of us. And you can see they're keeping their team shape quite well, but we're working it nicely down the left-hand side. 
Good crisp passing so far. Back to Joku on this occasion. Right the way back to the defence. Little bit of a um, risky pass there, but that's okay. Roberto into Ida. And we go 1-0 up after nine minutes and some very good play. You saw we took our time. We went down the left-hand side. We came back out again to the defence. Back down the left-hand side again. Got a few people involved. Some lovely, lovely work. A little bit lucky there. Jo uh, Loku Doku wins the, the headed um, challenge there and it moves on to Roberto who then crosses it in for Ida at that near post sneaking in at that near post and that's a really lovely finish no offside that's great and Ida continues to score goals after we talked about it a couple of episodes ago he's doing a lot better which is fabulous to see so yeah one nil up after nine ten minutes of the game you can see in in the early stages of the game are um, the stats of the match suggest that we're doing very well which is great to see and we'll just have to wait and see how the rest of this match pans out as we settle into the game and try and take ownership of it. In that regard, I think what I'm going to do is just drop back to balance for the rest of the first half just to suppress it a little bit and maintain that possession a little bit, which we managed to do. And we go in at half-time, 1-0 up. It was a bit of a dull first half in the end, wasn't it, really? Those match stats didn't change much in the second half of it. And after that 10-minute start... It just hasn't been anything significant, but we've got the advantage. So I guess we have to be ca uh, happy with that so far. So uh, calmly we'll say, I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. I don't want to upset anybody. I don't want to rock the boat. I just want them to be able to go out with confidence and continue to play. So we'll allow them to do that. Hopefully the second half will have a couple more chances for us. And an early one off a corner kick eventually comes back out to Loku Doku. And it's McCowan that just manages to sneak in there. But under challenge of a defender, can't quite get his shot on target. And it goes out again for a corner kick, which Loku Doku will put in left footed to the far post. Misses everybody out and Ida has to go and chase that. Wrong person to be doing that, really. But um, that's just the way that particular highlight worked out. And eventually it goes and we're back to the sort of the norm of this match, really, which is not an awful lot happening. So at 66 minutes, what I did notice before we went into the game, there were a couple of guys that had slightly lower conditioning than I would normally put out, but we were on a good run of form and I didn't want to rock the boat. But Cooper's going to come in for target, who's sitting on a 69% conditioning. And we've got a couple of others higher up the pitch as well. So Sibley comes out for Crowley. And we're going to leave Roberto there. And we're just going to take out Loku Doku and bring on Murray. Only because, again, in the last couple of matches, Loku Doku did pick up a little bit of a knock. And that's a little bit of a recurring theme with him. So I just want to be a bit careful with him and only play him for the moments that I really need to. And then, you know, give him a rest here and there to main maintain his... Um, his quality of health for the rest of this season hopefully so yeah those are the changes that we decided to make we're still on the balanced approach which is doing a bit better for us in the second half than it did in the first we got the early goal since then we've just sat on the game a little bit and I'm actually going to go back and be cautious no I'm going to do even more that and go defensive for the last sort of 10-12 minutes of the game I don't need anything else from it. You can see that they are struggling quite a little bit with their conditioning. So we're just going to sit on the game a little bit and suppress it, leading into that 90th minute mark and see if we can reach the full time, which we do. It wasn't particularly eventful. Apologies for that, for those that are wanting to watch more Brazil-like performances. But on this occasion, what we needed was to win a ground out kind of grinding kind of win. And we managed to do it. Everybody's delighted by the feedback, which was just to say it was a good win for us, which it is. Swansea are a hard side and they've been in the Premier League um, regularly enough in the last few seasons to know that they're a difficult side. But on this occasion, we come out on top. Unfortunately, at this point, so did Huddersfield in their particular game. Let's go and find their match. And they won 4-1 comfortably against Blackpool. So that still leaves them a point clear of us. But again, we're just beginning to get a little bit of a, a gap, specifically from Fulham down, um, where I think we're, we're doing pretty well for these playoff places. And eventually we'll start to look properly at Huddersfield. But just at the moment, we need to uh, cement our place in those playoff places. Having found them in relegation at the, uh, the middle of last season when we took over, the, the, the jump forward for us has been pretty special. So I'm very happy with it all. We sit in the playoff places. That'll do for now. And um, we'll see what happens with Huddersfield in the second half of the season. So 
I've now got January to go through. I'm going to go and do that and we'll come back and we'll play the Southampton match. Top of the table clash with Southampton at the very beginning of February. That will give me an opportunity to update you on our cup match against Reading, plus the championship matches in between time as well in January, but also the Chan uh, January transfer dealings, if there are going to be any. And I don't know what there will be at the moment. We've got the one guy coming in, in Silas, who just will reshape our side a little bit. And that might mean that somebody like McNair does leave the club. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But I don't have any specific plans for January. We've got a little bit of cash in the bank um, in terms of our transfer budget. Not so much in the wage structure, but if we let a, a couple of people go, then we can rearrange that. So come back and join me next episode and I'll update you on all of those things, plus all the games that we'll have played. And then we'll go into that top of the table clash against Southampton. Hopefully we'll still be at the top of the table area by the time that comes around. So thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this particular episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Keeps you up to date with the videos. Click that like button on this particular episode. I know it was a little bit drab in the game, but we still got a good win. So click that like button. It helps, get, uh, helps me get seen by lots of other people. Um, until next time, though, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.